Hello students, welcome to One Academy. I am Arya. So, in this class, we are continuing our animal kingdom. So, we are coming to the next phylum that is Arthropoda. Okay. So, we discussed Porifera, Cylindra, Tidopora, Tatihemilis, Ashilimilis, Anilida and now it is Arthropoda. So, regarding Arthropoda. Yes, as the name indicates, Arthropoda. Poda meaning appendages. Okay, or legs. No, Arthro meaning joint. So, they are having jointed appendages. That is why Arthropoda. Okay. They are having jointed appendages. Okay, jointed appendages. Okay, that means their leg is not like this. It is like like this. They are having a jointed appendages. That is why they are known as arthropoda. Now, this arthropoda is the largest phylum in animal kingdom. It is the largest phylum. And do you know why they are the largest phylum? Because all the insects around us coming under this arthropoda. So, just assume like how many number of insects are there around us? Like numerous. So, that is why what we can say? Yes, arthropoda. Yes, they are having the largest number of animals or they are the largest phylum in animal kingdom. Largest phylum in kingdom. Animalia. This is the largest phylum in kingdom. Animalia. After that, now, what do they compose of? Yes, mainly insects. They contain insects. You can see a butterfly flying in the board. Okay. So, this coming under insects only butterfly. Okay. Next point. Yes. So, we said that this is the largest phylum in kingdom animalia and they contain nearly 2 by 3rd of all the named species on earth. Okay. So, they contain 2 by 3rd of named species on earth. Clear? So, 2 by 3rd of named species on earth may contain. Now, next, their general features. We know lot of features about arthropoda already. So, which are the features? First one, regarding their level of organization, they are, yeah, they are organ system level. They are organ system level of organization. What about symmetry? Yes, they are having yeah bilateral symmetry. Bilateral symmetry they are having. Now regarding their yeah yeah next point is regarding their germinal layers. Come on, tell me. Recollect. Yes, they are having. Yes, triploblastic. Yes, they are triploblastic animals. They are triploblastic animals, we can say. Now, regarding their coelom, what is it? Yes, they are coelomates. Yes, they are coelomates, we can say. Now, regarding the circulatory system, what do you think? They are having open circulatory system. Next. Yes. Another feature common to all arthropods are, yes, they are having or their body is covered by a exoskeleton. See, skeleton are two types, either exoskeleton or endoskeleton. See, in our case, yes, our bone, all these things are endo, instead of our body, endoskeleton. But our nails, they are exoskeleton. So, in the case of, uh, yes, arthropoda, they are having a exoskeleton. See, prawns, see, when we clean prawns, we can remove one coating outside. Did you know that, right? So, that coating. 
that that skeleton that's actually the exoskeleton and this exoskeleton is made up of chitin okay made up of chitin so body is covered by body is covered by chitinous chitinous exoskeleton we can say okay so they are having a chitinous exoskeleton also their appendages are yes they are jointed okay what is the benefit they can able to easily move their yes appendages in all directions that is the benefit now the body of arthropoda they are divided into three parts first one is the head part then comes the thorax part and the last one is the abdomen part okay so the body divided into three parts first one is head yes then comes thorax then comes the abdomen head thorax and abdomen clear now regarding their respiration what we can say respiration is by different organs yes in the case of some crustaceans what is crustaceans meaning like prawns group is crustaceans prawns crab all these are crustaceans in their case what we can see yes their respiratory organ is gills okay so gills so gills is present in crustaceans next next one is book gills now book gills is seen in an organism called limulus next third one third one is book lungs now in case of book lungs is seen in the case of spider scorpion we can see book lungs and the last one is trachea tracheal system this we can see in common insects insects we can see trachea that's about the respiration next is excretion excretion now in the case of crustaceans their excretory organ we call adrenal gland or green gland now we we'll look at the ncert in that page you cannot see this but the same content is given in the chapter excretion so i am referring here that's why okay so in the case of crustaceans organ is called a green gland and the name is adrenal and in a plant it is seen in crustaceans next next organ is coxal gland it is seen in spider scorpion we can see coxal gland now in the remaining general insects they contain malpighian tubule so malpighian tubule is seen in yes what we can say insects okay seen in the some insects so green gland or adrenal gland in crustaceans coxal gland in spider or scorpion yes then malpighian tubule in insects that's about their excretion see they are like a high developed group we discussed about circulatory system here excretion respiratory system everything you are discussing okay so they got all these things now regarding their sense organs nowhere else we discussed about sense organs so here that is also present 
to sensory organs. Yes, for sensing the environment, they have two antenna. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the antenna are here. I'll show you one picture. Yes, in prods, you can see the two antenna are going. In butterfly, it is not clear there. Also, there are antenna. Here, antenna are there. Like this. Okay, so there are two. And as a present, for what purpose? Yes, for sensing the environment, they are having antenna. Then they are having what? Okay, first antenna we can write. Next is presence of eyes. Presence of eyes. Okay, now coming to eyes. Eyes are mainly of two types. Either, yes, uh, for example, cockroach. If we take the case of cockroach, Cockroach having both compound as well as symbol I. Compound I and symbol I. Symbol and compound I. What is the difference? Compound I means they consist of many visual units. But symbol means only one single unit. Okay. Compound I means many visual units. This one is only single unit. Now, Next, after that, we can see what statocyst. It is a balancing organ. Balancing organ. Now, antenna is to sense the environment. To sense the environment, we are having antenna. Clear? Yes, that's it. So, antenna, eyes, status, all these are the sensory organs. Yeah, after that, next. Next, we can discuss about their reproduction. Now, about arthropoda, they are usually dioecious. So, that means not all, usually only dioecious. They are usually dioecious, we can say. Now, fertilization is they are internal. They are mainly on land, right? So, internal fertilization. Okay. Now, after that, yes, regarding the development. Development is yes, direct or indirect development is C. Okay. Direct or indirect development. Clear? Now, also they are oviparous. They are oviparous. What is the meaning? Yes, they are egg laying. Ten. That's all about the reproduction. Now, lastly, about the examples. Actually, lot of examples are there in the arthropoda, but it's like easy examples. It's very easy to study. Okay, let's see some. So, examples. First one regarding some vectors. What is vectors? Vectors are carriers of diseases. So, mainly we can discuss about mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are three types like Aedes, Culex, and Anopheles. Aedes, Culex, and Anopheles mosquitoes are there. Now, regarding economically important. First one is Apis. What is Apis? Apis is actually honey bee. Next is Lacifer. Next one is bombix. 
बॉम एक्स इज एक्चुअली सिल्क वॉम डिस्ट्रक्टिव पेस्ट Gregarious pest that is locusta. Locusta's common name is locust. Okay. It is a gregarious pest that we can see here. This one. Okay. Now next step. That this picture. This is actually libellus. That that is a living fossil. Libellus. Okay, we call it as king crab. Common name is king crab. King crab. Clear. These are some examples for. Yeah. Arthropoda. Okay, don't try to by heart this, but study. So vectors is it's like a general fact. E is curious, I know plus. Then coming to yes, important thing. Yes, one is apes, economically important. Honey bee. Then bombyx, silkworm, lac eater, lac insect. Then in the case of uh, yes, gregarious species, locusta, locust, and living fossils, limulus or king crab. What is living fossil? Living fossil means organisms living now, but they are showing primitive characters. Okay, organisms or animals they are living now in this period, but they are showing yes very old characters. Okay, yes I I hope you know some people those who are living in this era, but their thoughts are like yes in very ancient thoughts they are having. Similarly, they are they are a living fossil. Similarly, our limulus or king crab which is a living fossil. Clear. So that's all about the phylum Arthropoda. We can just revise what we discuss now. So first we discuss yes why their name Arthropoda because jointed appendages. Poda appendage join means arthro. Okay. Now this is the largest phylum, full of insects. Then two third of the named species are on earth are coming under Arthropoda and general features: organ system, bilateral, triploblastic, coelomate, open circulatory system. Then we discuss about their Yes, body is covered by chitinous exoskeleton. Then body has three parts: head, thorax, abdomen. Respiration in different organisms: gills, bugilla, then book lungs, trachea. After that, regarding the excretion, they are having green gland or anal gland, coxal gland, and malpighian tubule. Sensory organs: antenna, eyes, statocyst. Now regarding reproduction, usually dioecious, internal fertilization. Development can be direct or indirect. Also, they are oviparous. Okay, means egg laying. And the examples we discussed now. Clear. So we finish the phylum Arthropoda. Next one is the phylum. Yes, Mollusca. Now after Arthropoda, now comes Mollusca. So about Mollusca. Yes, first point is Mollusca is the second largest phylum. What is the first largest phylum or the largest phylum? It is Arthropoda. This is the second largest phylum. Clear. Now regarding their general features, we can discuss. First one is regarding their level of organization. They are organ. System level. Then regarding their symmetry, they are bilateral symmetry. Next regarding their yes germinal layers, they are triploblastic. Then 
about their or you can say the silo they are silo mate now regarding segmentation okay they are having like what you can say they have no segmentation okay what about an arthropoda yes arthropoda also having segmentation okay we can i think we did add that point here we can just add somewhere so segmentation but in mollusca there is no segmentation now in the case of mollusca their body divides into different parts first one is head then comes muscular food and third part is visceral hump head muscular food and visceral hump now let's see this i'll just draw the structure okay so here comes the head structure Yes. Then comes a muscular food like this, and they are having a visceral hump. Okay. So head, muscular food, and visceral hump. Now above the hump, we can see the presence of yes, a soft, spongy layer. This we can call. This is called mandel. and this is a soft spongy layer okay this we can see above the muscular hump this part is called head this is visceral hump this is muscular food clear now above the mandel we can see yes there is a calcareous exoskeleton is present okay above the mandel we can see there is a calcareous calcareous meaning made up of calcium calcareous exoskeleton or calcareous shell is present okay see uh, for this one example comes this one yes snail in snail we can see there is a outermost shell is there a coiled shell is there so like the same way they are made up of calcareous exoskeleton now between the visceral hump so this entire part is called visceral hump and this green color is actually the mantle so between the is between the mantle and the visceral hump there is a cavity like this between the green color mantle and this thing is visceral hump we can see there is a cavity and this cavity is called mantle cavity mantle cavity and this mantle cavity contain they contain some gills they are feather like gills feather like gills now their duty is they have two duties one thing we know that is respiration and second thing is they can use for excretion respiration and excretion that is a function of feather like gills so now once again body divides into three parts head yes visceral hump and a muscular food then above the visceral hump we can see there is a soft spongy layer called mantle above which we can see the calcareous exoskeleton then there is a cavity between the mantle and the hump which we can call mantle cavity 
they contain feather like gills their function is what respiration and excretion now go to the head region is obviously eyes all these things are there now head region contain two tentacles okay for example to sense the environment they are having tentacles are present these are sensory tentacles sensory tentacles are present also they are also having a file like rasping organ called radula so what is radula it is a file like rasping or a feeding organ that is called radula clear we finish the structure of mollusca that's all okay so mandible mandible cavity then radula sensory tentacles all these are important terms clear so we finish the structure now regarding their reproduction yes they are also usually dioecious development is indirect development clear so dioecious meaning what there is two separate male and female organisms are there and we can call yes dioecious now indirect development meaning what there is a presence of larval stage then they are oviparous what is meaning yes they can able to lay eggs these are some features of the phylum mollusca now coming to the example actually this group having a lot of examples so i have a code to study all these things we can see okay so we can start listen to the code first one is mallu boy mallu boy so mallu is what our mollusca mallu boy eating lollipop okay mallu boy eating lollipop okay when you remember this lollipop you want to think about what yes lollipop it is lolligo 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 having a a common name that is called squid lolligo is squid so how to remember means just think about Uh, did you watch the movie Squid Game? It's a like a web series. So in that there is a game in which there is a caramelized uh, like a cookie is there, which given in some particular shapes. We want to just cut it based on that particular shape. If you fail, you will get died. One game is there. So in that, so that caramel is like a lollipop, right? So where we can see the lollipop in the Squid Game. So lolligo Squid Game, lolligo Squid like that. Okay. So Malu boy eating lollipop. He is going to. He went to dental hospital. So next example comes dentalium. Dentalium. Okay. This dental. See in the case of elephant, you can see two tusks are there. Actually, what is that tusk? Actually, it is the teeth of the uh, elephant. In the case of elephant, we can see two tusk. That is actually the teeth or dental, the dentalium of the elephant. So dentalium common we can say tusk shell. Tusk shell. Okay, lowly go squid game. So squid. Next is dentalium is tusk shell. Tusk shell. It is a teeth. So tusk shell. So Malu boy eating lowly pop went to dental hospital. Now the hospital is looks like. Okay, they are separated. This dental hospital separated by eight pink pillars. Separated by eight pink pillars. So separated. That is sepia. Okay, what is the like a uh, other meaning of separated? It is cutting. Okay, so sepia is cuttlefish. Cuttlefish. Sepia is cuttlefish. Now. Separated by eight. Eight means octa. So octopus. Now, octopus 
is usually in cartoons we can see these octopus are like very cruel they always try to attack us so they are devil fish it's devil fish okay eight pink pink next is pink pink is pink tada see when we see pearls pearls are having like a light a very pink tinges there for pearls okay so some pearls we can see there is a very Yes, pink tint is there. So, pink tada is what? Pearl oyster. Pink tada is pearl oyster. Clear? Now, next one. Okay. So, once again I am repeating. So, Mallu boy eating lollipop. Lollipop is what? Kid game. Yes. Went to dental hospital. Dental is what? Tusk shell. Then how it looks like? Yes, it is separated by separated sepia, cuttlefish. Separated by eight. Eight is what? Octopus, devil fish. Eight pink. Pink is what? Yes, pearl is pink. Pink tada, pearl oyster. Eight pink pillars. What is this pillar? That is the next thing. Pillar is pillar. Yes. See, usually in rainy season, we can see that usually the a snail will go through the pillars. Okay, so pillar is what? It's apple snail. Pillar is apple snail. Eight pink pillars. So this Mandu boy went there and from here completely he is like crying because his teeth is aching. So he is crying. So that time doctor gave him an apple. Okay, doctor gave him an apple. Apple is aplesia. Apple is aplesia. Okay. Aplesia. See, so usually we know that rabbits. Rabbits eat what? Carrot. But our rabbit eats apple. So, aplesia. Sea hair. Sea hair meaning what? Hair is actually rabbit. Okay. So, aplesia. Sea hair. So, our rabbit eats apple, not carrot. Now, so he gave a, 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 an apple and a kite. Kite is Chitin or Chitopleura. Chitopleura is chitin. Clear. Finish. These are the examples. That's much simple. We can revise. Mallu boy eating lollipop, lolligo, skid. Yes. Went to dental hospital. Dendalium, tusk shell. Separated. Sepia, cuttlefish. Ate. Octopus, devil fish. Pink, pink tada, pearl oyster. Eight pink pillars, through pillars, snail will go. Apple snail. Then, doctor gave him, what? A, a, an apple, aplesia. What is aplesia? Aplesia is sea hair. Our, our, our Arabic will eat apple, not carrot. And a kite, kiten, heat of pleura. That's it, finish. That's all, okay. I hope you got the order of all these examples and their common name now. So, that's it. Next one. Acute revision of our mollusca. Okay, this is the second largest pile of organ system level, bilateral, triploblastic, coelomate, and no segmentation. Bowl divides into head, muscular foot, and visceral hump. There is structure, whole structure. Okay, they are having yes, head, visceral hump, muscular foot. Then they are having a mandel cavity, mandel, calcareous exoskeleton, sensory tentacles. Radula, feather like gills, all these things, other function. Next is reproduction, they are dioecious, indirect, oviparous, and the famous examples. I hope you got a good idea regarding this topic. Now, let's see some questions from the same topic. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so here come the questions. Number one Arthropoda is characterized by triploblastic, bilateral symmetry, and abdominal appendages. Uh, this is correct, but not only in the abdominal area. Okay. Bilateral symmetry and a pair of wings. Not everyone having bilateral, uh, this pair of wings. So, with this we cannot say. A coelomate, though they are coelomate. Exoskeleton, metamoric segmentation and a joint appendages. Three is our answer. Sorry, four is our answer. Okay. Exoskeleton, metamoric segmentation as well as jointed appendages. Next one. Number two. 
which of the following uh, phylum is being described by the given statement bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic segmented and coelomate body head thorax abdomen we got the answer already it is arthropoda joint repetages it's arthropoda only number three a file like rasping organ for feeding called radula present in the phylum mollusca very easy question four in phylum arthropoda excretion takes place through yes generally they are ex, uh, excretion is through the malpigian tubule flame cells is it yes it is in blatty helminthes nephridae is it analida my question why not the answer is gills the reason is see gills is only in a, a little amount only in a few group okay a few members but malpigian tubule is the general excretory organ of the yes, arthropoda that's why which one of the following features is common is common to silverfish scorpio dragonfly and prawn all these comes under arthropoda so three pairs of legs no chitinous cuticle no jointed appendages and chitinous exoskeleton this is the answer option three so that's it these are some questions from yes arthropoda and mollusca so in this arthropoda and mollusca are too important to file up not like other five they are really important so that's all for today's class i hope this topic is really cleared for you all yes thank you so much